Hi, it's Girl from a Girl and Her Librarian. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you to Mute Errant for that amazing intro, as ever. Today, I'm going to be chatting to you about Christine Feehan's Ghost Walker series. Now, there are 17 books in the series as of right now, which is March 2021. I'm going to be totally upfront about this series. I absolutely love them. Yeah, yeah, some of the books more than others, but on the whole, I absolutely love them. At least three of them, off the top of my head, are in my favourites folder on my Kindle. And there's only 17 books in the series, so you can see just how much I love them. So Ghost Walkers, what's that, you say? So think mad scientist, patriotic but mad, and he selects men from the forces, so navy, police force, army, etc. Uh, so the best of the best from them, and test them for psychic ability. Those who get through to the Ghost Walker program then get enhanced psychically, but also physically, although they didn't really ask for that, until they're a team of super soldiers who have like telepathic abilities, nerves of steel, um, extraordinary skills. I mean, yeah. Think Robocop without the suit and alpha males, basically. So, where's the damsels in distress, you ask? Not completely, totally damsels, though, because all of the women in this are lethal in their own right. However, said mad scientist thinks the girls are all useless. He doesn't like women. So he uses them instead to experiment on to perfect the things he wants to do to the males. So you end up with some pretty... Yeah, they, the girls become ghost walkers, but to him they're not. They're not the elite. They're not let out. They're kept in captivity. Now, the series is, is absolutely brilliant. The premise is great. There are four ghost walker teams. Why are they called ghost walkers? Because the night belongs to them and they walk in the shadows. Okay? It's cool. Anyway, we've got four teams. Now, some intercross uh, through the books um, when they ask other teams for help. Now, the first team is the one with the most problems. Uh, they had some psychic uh, overflow issues. They need psychic anchors or their brains go a bit AWOL because they can't stop the flow of energy. By team four, he's managed to deal with most of those issues. And they're pretty much the elite. But each has their own remit. I mean, some are doing urban warfare, like Max team, which I think is team two or three. Uh, some are in the hot zone rescuing other soldiers uh, in war zones. They're team four. Now, I started this book, um, or I started this series at book 11, which wasn't ideal. And that was the first of the team four books. And I became entrenched with them. I, I mean, I followed Wyatt and Trap and Drayden getting their girls and, you know, come, overcoming their issue. Oh, I forgot to mention yet. Yeah, the mad scientist pairs the soldiers with one of the girls he experiments on because he'd like to know what happened if they have offspring. So like more super soldiers. The girls are militarily trained too, but still experiments. And they're not free like the ghost walkers are. So it's quite, you'll get it if you read it. I did struggle to switch teams when I started back to number one again. Now, I loved Ryland and Lily. Now, Lily is the mad scientist's daughter who realises what her father has done to her and the team. I love them. But the next one, Nicholas and Dahlia, I didn't really gel with that one. That's book two. You don't have to read the books in order once you understand about the Ghost Walker programme. It's rehashed in each book as a recap anyway. And you do get, I mean, I did, got very attached to the teams. And you wonder who's going to get their girl next. So each book is a team member finding his girl. The sort of struggle to get or keep her and the consequences of doing so. And yeah, it's formulaic. But if you like the overall concept, sometimes it's soothing to have the same setup again, just framed differently. Some of my favourites, Mac and Jamie in Street Game is absolutely amazing. That's the start of team, either team two or three, and it's book eight. The banter's fun between them. You've got Trap and Cayenne uh, from Team 4, book 12, called Spider Game, which is particularly raunchy. Now, Christine Feehan is particularly raunchy anyway. All of her books are. Her Dark series, her Leopard series, and the Ghost Walker series are all raunchy. And I'm going to start her, um, oh God, 
uh, Shadow Riders soon, which I suspect are going to be very much the same. And, the, I mean, if you want to settle into a series with a good alpha male, sassy girls who can hold their own, then you're basically onto a winner. Because, yeah, it's cool. There's a lot of, there's a lot of shooting. There's a lot of killing. There's a lot of soldier stuff. So it's not totally mushy and girly. It is particularly raunchy in places, but it's not everywhere. <laughs> the banter between the the teams and the, the teammates is really, really good. Uh, I enjoyed a lot of that, I have to say. I came to Ghost Walkers after I had read pretty much most of the Dark series from Christine Feehan. The Dark series I am going to review shortly, but the Ghost Walkers I find particularly kind of more urban, most most certainly more urban rather than sort of stuck in the Carpathian Mountains like the Dark series is. The limitations, you know, of, of trying to keep the girls safe and getting what he can from them and the sort of them fighting backwards and forth between, you know, people high up in government trying to sabotage the Ghost Walker program or using it for themselves or making their own super soldiers is really very cool. And you kind of very much get into the politics of it as well. There are different settings for different ones. You've got, you've also got, um, there's a, a twin uh, in one of the, um, oh God, it's the Norton twins, two snipers. Oh God, the Norton twins, Jack and Ken, Ken and Jack Norton. They're both snipers. The things that get done to them are wicked, but they get their girls and, you know, if you like a good ending, if you like that kind of formulaic thing, then I would most certainly say go for it. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I try not to give spoilers because I don't think that's right. If you'd like more recommendations and reviews, please subscribe. Comment if you'd like. I'd love to have a chat with you about the series if you're a fan or you're thinking of reading it. I'm also on Twitter at Girly Library. And I look forward to coming back with some more reviews for you. Take good care. Bye bye.